Welcome to my hip FAQ about air travel after total hip replacement. I'm about 13 weeks post-op, and today I have my first flight. I'm going to visit my parents in the Chicago area, and so I'm just out for a morning walk to kind of loosen up my legs, but otherwise trying to take it easy because I'm going to be cooped up in a plane for a couple hours and then driving in a car for a couple hours to get to my parents' house. So I'll be curious to see how things go with the TSA and getting through security with my new hip. Anyhow. Hey Mike, are you here to wish me a bon voyage? Anyhow, he's here with me as I get ready for my trip. Here's what I got packed. The bag on the right is all my camera gear because I'm gonna test drive a Corvette C8 this weekend. And the bag on the left is my luggage, so hopefully they'll let all this pass. And then sort of one last thing, this is my packing checklist, something we use for every trip we take as a family, and it helps us not forget things. This is my son Xavier. He's going to drive me to the airport today. Yes, sir. <laughs> Personal chauffeur. Well, that was pretty interesting. So going through the uh, safety checkpoint, they have scanners where you, you know, raise your hand above your head, and it scans around you. It, it detected my artificial hip joint and passed me. So I asked the guy and he said that the new software just does this automatically most of the time, not every time, but most of the time. So I didn't have to get padded down or anything. Surprisingly too, my, uh, my camera gear bag with tripod and everything else made it through just fine. And then they isolated my, my baggage for my clothing and stuff because I actually had a very small metal can opener in my toiletries bag. I forgot it was even in there. So they found that and unfortunately I had to confiscate it. But otherwise, it was a breeze getting through the uh, safety checkpoint. I'm surprised how easy that was. I'm here in Raleigh-Durham waiting for my flight. As I mentioned, that uh, security checkpoint was extremely easy with my artificial hip. So I'm going to try and record my experience when I come back through O'Hare because that's going to be a very different airport and I know that the TSA protocols and checkpoints vary a lot from airport to airport. Okay, so far so good. Just got into Chicago O'Hare. Unfortunately, we had a mechanical issue. One of the overhead baggage bin doors was malfunctioning, so it wait, we had to wait about 45 minutes before we got to uh, take off. So I sat in the plane for three hours, and uh, that was not great. I had a little bit of aching in my hip joint, but thankfully I booked exit row and had tons of leg room. So all in all, not bad. Okay, I'm back in O'Hare and getting ready to go through security. We'll see how it goes with the new hip. Okay, just went through security at O'Hare and it was actually the same deal. I went through one of the things where you put your hand over your head and they just passed me right through. So that's awesome. Very easy with the total hip replacement. I just thought this is a pretty cool, this pretty cool thing here in O'Hare. Well, I'm home after my first air travel trip following total hip replacement. Today is actually 13 weeks post-op and I feel pretty good. It's, uh, I left my parents' house about eight hours ago. So I was in the car for a couple hours, sitting in the airport for a couple hours, then sitting in the airplane for a couple hours and got home about an hour or so ago. I think everything went pretty well. Um, Obviously, can still feel my hip joint a little bit. Uh, I was a little bit uncomfortable. I didn't take any kind of painkiller or anything on the trip out to visit my parents. On this trip back, I decided to take two Tylenol, just kind of took them during the flight uh, because I want to make sure I don't have a lot of discomfort so I can get a good night's sleep tonight. But again, everything was pretty good. Um, I did pay for seats that had extra leg room, and I think that really helped. And I'm glad I did that. So, at any rate, successful trip, no problem. Happy to be home and, and not in too much discomfort. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're planning to fly after total hip replacement, I hope you found this helpful. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos, and check out some of my other hip related videos, including my full hip vlog. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I wish you all the best in your hip journey.